Ethylene is a plant hormone and it can be produced during four different stresses that a plant may experience. So the first stress a plant may experience is leaf abscission. And abscission is defined as the loss of leaves or plant organs. So when we think about loss of leaves, the first thing that may come to mind is the season of fall. And during fall, we see many deciduous trees losing their leaves. And the reason they lose their leaves is because the loss of those leaves allows for lower climatic stress. So and during the fall time, during the winter time, the climate conditions can be very harsh. And a plant is not able to sustain its fruit or leaves, so it will lose them. And that process is called leaf abscission. So once we enter those cooler environments of fall, we will begin to see a higher concentration of ethylene, which will promote the leaf abscission. Another stress a plant may experience is senescence. So senescence is the aging or degeneration of a plant or shedding. It's very similar to leaf abscission. So once again, uh, if there's any type of stress or a plant becomes uh, old and it begins to die, ethylene will be produced. Now, the opposite of ethylene, since ethylene is promoting degeneration, it's promoting aging and death, uh, the opposite of ethylene would be cytokinin, because we know that cytokinin does the reverse. It's actually promoting uh, the opposite of senescence. So it's reducing the effects of aging, degeneration, and shedding. But ethylene... Uh, once ethylene is produced in an aging plant, the cells within that plant will undergo apoptosis and the organelles within the cells, uh, the DNA, they will all begin to degenerate and break down and that plant will essentially age and then die. Ethylene is also required in fruit ripening. So this is a very, very common example of ethylene and it's exhibited in bananas. And the this fruit ripening caused by ethylene is actually an evolutionary adaptation of plants. So when we see um, when we see an unripe apple, an unripe apple is oftentimes very bitter tasting. It's very sour tasting. That is because it has not yet produced that ethylene to make it sweet and tasty. The reason is, is when that apple is initially sour and bitter, the seed within that apple is still developing. And until that seed within that apple has fully developed and matured, that is when the ethylene will be produced. Because once the ethylene is produced, that fruit will become sweet and it will attract animals and those animals can consume that fruit and then disperse those seeds so those seeds can produce more fruit. So Ethylene allows fruit ripening, but ethylene will not be produced until the seed within the fruit has fully matured and it uh, is ready to be dispersed by uh, animals or wind, etc. Another type, um, a, a type of stress where ethylene may be produced is any type of mechanical stress. An example of that we can think of uh, once again is climactic stress or lack of resources. So a plant may undergo senescence or abscission due to mechanical stress and ethylene will be produced. Going back to the example of the banana, we uh, often hear that if we want to make a fruit ripe, like if we want to make another fruit ripe, just place a banana near it because the banana is actively producing ethylene and that ethylene production can impact the ripening of neighboring fruits. This is also used in commercial production of fruits and in our local grocery stores. If farmers or producers of fruits want fruits to appear more ripe, they will spray them with ethylene. If they want to slow down the ripening process of fruits, they will place the fruits in a room filled with carbon dioxide to limit the effects of ethylene, to limit that ripening process. 
Um, another uh, interesting fact about ethylene is that auxin actually promotes the production of ethylene. And we can make sense of that because auxin, it's promoting the cell growth and differentiation. So if cells are continually growing in a plant and they're continually growing in a fruit, ultimately it will eventually lead to ethylene production because eth uh, ethylene is required for several ripening uh, processes. So once again, ethylene is produced during, uh, during any of these four stresses, uh, leaf abscission, senescence, fruit ripening, mechanical stress. Mechanical stress can range from cl climate stress to injury. Uh, it, there's a lot of variation for mechanical stress. Senescence is defined as the aging and degeneration of a plant or shedding. And abscission is the loss of leaves or plant organs, which we see during the fall time. One more thing about ethylene is that once when the ethylene concentration increases in a plant, we actually see a thicker stem form and stem elongation is reduced and we see this curvature. So this is one of the effects ethylene has as it, the concentration of ethylene increases in a plant.